Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have an update from the Divine Masculine. We're going to find out how we're currently feeling about the Divine Feminine in the Twin Flame Collective. So let's get straight into this. So, yeah, okay, this Divine Masculine, okay. It's like they're really in their head at the moment about you, okay. They're really overthinking things. They're keeping a close eye on you. Um, it's like this person's watching you. Um, they can't stop watching you. They also want to tell you some type of truth, okay? They really want things to go to the next level here, okay? Um, this person, it's like they're watching and waiting for something, okay? We're going to get more into that. But I am getting that they're waiting for something. It could be communication here. But I am getting that they want to communicate with you. They've been watching you, okay? And it's like they're ready to come forward and communicate yeah this person feeling very strongly about you they want things to go to the next level here okay it's like i'm getting that this person they've been hiding their feelings or they've been holding back from this connection but at the same time they can't stop thinking about this connection they can't stop watching you they can't stop waiting um for you now i am getting that for some of them they could be in a third party situation and they could be waiting for some type of like chance to get away from this and i'm hearing the name brian okay let me know if that resonates for you so i'm getting that at one point this person okay there was some type of separation here um yeah you guys are not in communication um for a while now, okay, and I'm hearing five months, okay, and I'm, I'm even hearing five years, okay, so it could be like anywhere from five months to five years, you guys haven't spoken, and this person, okay, they can't stop watching you and hoping that things will go to the next level here, they feel a very strong connection here to you, like this person loves you, but they're very guarded, okay, um, this person's not very confident with emotion, um, it's like this person is a confident person in general, but when it comes to showing their emotion and being emotion, like being emotionally vulnerable, I'm hearing, um, it's very hard for them, okay? So it's like they could have turned away from this soul connection and they could have uh, went down a different path, but this person is in a lot of pain at the moment because they really want to communicate here with you and they also can't stop thinking about you. So even though they decide to walk away, um, they can't stop thinking about you. And this per yeah, this person tried to walk away from this. I am getting that like there had been a significant time um, that you guys haven't spoken. Okay, so and the whole time this person had walked away, and it's like they've held on to you. They continuously look into the past. They can't stop thinking about you. Even if you guys um, ended on like a negative note, if you guys had a fight, you know, um, this person is very much stuck in the past and stuck on you and they continuously watch you and it's like they're really upset. So this divine masculine that I'm picking up today, they're in the energy of wanting to communicate, okay? They're trying to gain the strength right now to communicate with you. I'm hearing orange hair. Somebody could have orange hair. Let me know if that resonates. You could be dealing with a Leo here. Or a Gemini, I'm hearing. So this person at the moment, they're in this energy of wanting to come forward, wanting to communicate, wanting to show their emotions. They feel strongly for you. They can't stop thinking about you at the moment. There's something about this connection that scares them, okay? It's really out of character for them. Um, they're used to, like, not bringing emotions into connections. Um, and now this person is feeling this type of way about you. I'm hearing glitter and gold. And um, let me know if that resonates for you. This person feels like they can't get over you. 
and they feel like they're the ones that cause some type of conflict because they felt some type of restriction, okay? It's like they met you and they felt a lot of emotion here, but they also felt this connection that really triggered them, okay? There was something about your light that really triggered them, and it's like they could have ran away and they tried to restrict themselves from their feelings. And now they feel like that, I'm hearing that they're at a dead end, okay? But they do feel like that they're very, they're stuck in this place of wanting to communicate. And it's like they're really upset because they feel like that they've, they feel like this is a situation where they've ruined their own life, okay? Or ruined this connection themselves. And all they want is this connection back because they can't get over it. So I'm getting that. This person is very heartbroken at the moment because they walked away from you. They had poor judgment here, okay? They definitely weren't seeing things. They weren't looking at this, like, from their heart, okay? It was more they were looking from it from their mind, okay? And it sort of scared them because this person had a problem with commitment. They've also had... They have a problem with, like, commitment like commitment or settling down this person um they may have called they, they may have felt like there was a lot of conflict surrounding this i'm hearing there could have been an age difference that this is why they walked away okay or there could have been some type of difference where they feel like people around them wouldn't agree okay I'm hearing that this person could have been very harsh towards you. They could have, um, they feel regretful. So some of them, okay, they either walked away with a third party or they walked away because of somebody was like telling them that they were listening to somebody else. Like they weren't listening to their own heart, okay, they're listening to somebody around them. You could be dealing with a cancer. This person they really want to make movement towards you, but they have this negative view, okay? They feel like they're either going to get rejected or they feel like because of the way they acted in the past, um, you're going to react, like you're going to reject them. You may ghost them. They may have ghosted you in the past. They made a decision to walk away from this connection because they're, it's like their feelings really intimidated them here. But now it's like they can't stop. They also were scared to like settle down here. They're really worried about settling down. So they tried to walk away from this and now they can't stop thinking about you. They feel regretful because they see that this was like a beautiful connection that it's like they've never felt before. And they walked away and they caused a lot of conflict when it came to it. Okay, they also were trying to logically figure this out, okay, they, it's like, there was a lot of emotion, okay, that this connection sparked in this divine masculine, and they started to try to figure it out with their mind, yeah, this person is really immature, we're dealing with somebody that, even if they're older, they're still immature, and, <clears throat> I'm hearing you could be dealing with a Scorpio. This person was very much in their ego. I'm hearing that this person has a lot of sleepless nights because they can't stop thinking about you. moment they're in a very negative mindset okay they're in a very dark place 
and they want to communicate, but they feel like if they communicate now, they may cause some type of conflict, okay? You're dealing with a very immature person. I'm hearing gum tree, okay? Um, let me know if that resonates. You could be dealing with a Taurus, you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Leo. This person, it's like, they feel like they're obsessed with you, okay? They're not sure, because they're looking at you and they feel like that you've moved on from this. And they're viewing this as like a missed opportunity that they can't get over. And now they're wanting to rush in with communication. But I am getting that the communication could be a little bit harsh because they feel like you're either seeing somebody else. Yeah, they feel like you're seeing somebody else. And this really, like, aggravates them. This person's watching you. I'm getting something about the brand Dior. This person feels like it's, um, really stressful that they have all this love and emotion for you there is this sense of them keeping themselves stuck and using their mind and ignoring their intuition and heart this person still has healing to do So I am getting if they do communicate with you, it could it could be a little bit harsh and it could be just to like, even though they want to talk to you, I'm not getting that they're coming to talk, like they're not really going to show you much emotion, okay? This could actually end in a fight for some of you and this could have already happened. And if this has already happened, this person feels stupid for the way that they've um, treated you. It's like all they wanted was communication here with you and they communicated in a very harsh way. Again, hiding their feelings. Um, and now they feel, yeah, they feel really regretful. This person's pretty toxic. They're learning lessons at the moment. This person really regrets the way that, so either they're about to communicate in a harsh way or they've communicated in the past in a harsh way and they really regret it. They're really stuck in their head about it. This person knows that they're sort of mean and they need to like fix that. They feel like you sort of um, did that better because this person is toxic at the moment. Like they have all these feelings here for you, but they are hiding them. They're trying to numb their feelings. Yeah, this person straight up could be like ignoring you even though they have all these feelings here for you but ignoring you and going for other people that like it doesn't like intimidate them as much as this connection and it's like they've put this on board they feel like this is like unreachable okay like you're out of reach or out of their league they want to communicate though they have just um convince themselves that you're out of their league and you're probably not interested, especially if you're dealing with a Cancer or a Gemini. This person continuously makes wrong choices when it comes to this connection. Like, their heart is with you, their love is with you, but they could put that to the side and go for people that they feel like it's like they don't have to put so much emotion into it right because emotion 
scared them. So you buy this person wish fulfillment, but there is this sense where they feel like you're way too good. Like you're way too good for them and they're scared of being vulnerable when it comes to you. So they literally could like keep themselves in this like energy of like having one night stands or just not committing. Um, but they know deep down they're making the wrong choice because they can't stop thinking about you. They really want to communicate with you. They also keep watching you. It's like they're low-key spying on you. Yeah, because you are everything that they want. Like, you're everything that they've ever wished for. And this person, okay, is in a really, like, they're going through a lot of pain because they keep trying to hide their emotions for you. And they know they love you, but they hide their emotions for you. This person is a little bit immature, but they are learning lessons. So I am getting that at first this person actually thought, like it's my masculine thought that this was like a sexual connection or this was like lust, okay, and now they realise that they're in love with you and this is stressing them out. They're trying to like run from this because they feel like they can't do it right now. But it's like this, these feelings keep coming up. No matter how hard this divine masculine like hide from this, these feelings keep coming up. They know that they love you. They know that you're their wish fulfillment. And it hurts them, okay? Because it's like they're suppressing this emotion, which it really... This person has sleepless nights because they are the ones like that... It's like they're rejecting themselves. They're rejecting this love, which is rejecting themselves because you are the other half of them. This person... They are going through lessons, okay? It's like they're trying to figure out how to be more open, okay? How to, like, express themselves, um, especially, like, their emotions. This person um, has a habit of, like, running away from their emotions, like, hiding from their emotions. <clears throat> Which they tried with you, but it didn't work, Okay? I'm hearing royalty and I'm hearing crown, okay? So that could resonate for you. If it does, let me know. Yeah, so they try to run from their emotion, but it's like they feel attached to you, like they can't get over you. They try to end this and they can't get over you. These Divine Masculine really want to take things to the next level, but they really are in their mind at the moment trying to figure this out logically. Um, but they feel attached to you here. They can't get over you. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Gemini. They're contemplating right now how to come forward, but they are about to make some type of movement, okay? They're about to follow their art. Yeah, this person is completely stuck in their mind about you. Like, they can't... Yeah, wow. Well, they cannot get out of their mind about you. Like, it's causing them a lot of conflict. Because they could be trying to figure out this with their mind instead of letting, like, spirit come in and lead the way. They're trying to figure it out with their mind. Which is why I'm getting that... Yeah, they walked away before. So this person in the past, this person in the past was worried about other connections, worried about like what looked better, material things, how many like options they could have. And now they realize that, you know, they've caused nothing but conflict between you. They feel like that you probably don't want to know who they are, but they feel stuck on you, like they can't get over you. Especially if you're dealing with a cancer here, strong cancer. <coughs> this person thinks about like contacting you, but then they talk themselves out of it. 
And they could be entertaining other options here because they feel like it's easier than opening up their heart and going towards what they want. But I am getting here that this person is about to make some type of movement towards you, some type of leap of faith. Okay, there is going to be some type of communication. But again, this may be a little bit... um. It's going to be communication, but it's not going to be the communication you expect. This person may be coming from a place of pain when they communicate, especially if they feel like you have other options. Um, and this person is in a lot of pain because they feel like they can't stop thinking about you, they're stuck on you. Um, they want to commit and this is not normal, okay, for them. There's a sense that they really want to commit, but they do realize that they've caused a lot of drama here, a lot of problem in this connection. So they could have caused some problem here, and they felt like it was easier to like try to end this and run away, but they realize they can't run from you. And it's like they're acting strong, they're pretending they're strong, but this person's in a lot of pain because they can't get over you here. It's like they're really putting on a mask here. This person could have um, gone down a path like of like sexual temptation rather than this beautiful connection and they're in so much regret because they can't stop thinking about you. They feel like they've made the wrong choice. They feel like they've caused a lot of conflict here. You could be dealing with a Leo here. This person was being very selfish when it came to this. They were showing no love because they were scared of commitment. Some of them were used to having like more than one person and they didn't want to give that up, okay? So they called, like they cut you off and now all they want to do is come back. So they are going to communicate with you, but again, it may be a little bit harsh. Yeah, they're getting guided to communicate, but the way they're going to communicate is going to be a little bit selfish, okay? And I'm getting it like you're going to get really mad about this communication because like you've been waiting for the communication and they communicate that way, but they are looking at this in a very negative mindset at the moment um, because they can't get over you and they sort of, it's like they don't want to be tied down right now, right? They want to have some type of option, so they're really having like this real conflicting um, moment, okay? It, like with their intuition because they feel like their 3D self feels like they want to have like this player lifestyle they want to have options but their heart knows that they want to be with you um but they are stuck in this um and this is in a very like negative way especially if they feel like that you're tied down or seeing somebody else or you have other options okay they're looking at this in a very negative mindset so they are going to communicate but it could be very unexpected it, it could cause a fight they definitely could cause a fight, okay? Um, and I am gonna get, I am getting that, um, like you guys are gonna be like, what, what am I like doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because this person, they don't really know how to communicate, um, and the way they're gonna communicate, okay, it's gonna be like a little bit harsh. Um, they just wanna figure out as well, like what you're doing, um, especially if they feel like you have other options. It's like they're mad that you're not stuck on them, okay? Hmm, interesting. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. I really hope this resonated. If it did, please let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.